hello and welcome to my youtube channel conceptual coding i hope that you guys are doing great so in today's video we are going to cover and we are going to create a program using c++ programming language and we are going to check that how can you create a program um, that will take a number from the user and it will justify that whether the user entered an odd number or whether the user the entered an even number so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of uh, notifications from our uh, youtube channel conceptual coding so let's get started so first um, you need to open your compiler uh, which you are using for the purpose of the coding uh, via c++ so i'm using dev c++ i will open dev c++ so after opening the compiler you will see the interface will be opened now you need to create a new source file and here you can write header files hash include io stream then hash include conio.h then using namespace std then int main which is our main function after that get ch so i have created whole program structure now i want to implement the scenario which i'm going to follow to create the program so the scenario is very simple we are going to create a program that will take a positive number from the user and it will after taking the positive number from the user and it will uh, justify and it will shows us that whether the number that is entered by the user whether it is odd number or whether it is an even number so let's do it so the first thing and the main thing is that what is the concept of odd or even number which numbers are odd and which numbers are even this concept we have to uh, have a look so all those numbers that are divisible by 2 are even and all those number which are not divisible by 2 are odd number so for that purpose we have cleared out the initial concept now we need to see that which data type we uh, will have to choose to go further so we are going to only implement this concept on the non decimal number and in case of non decimal number you better know we use integer so it's clear so we are going to use the integer and how many variables we are going to use what is the storage purpose and what is the storage capacity so we are going to use two variables one variable is referred as number it will be used to enter the number from the user and the second variable will be uh, will be as a result you can create second variable as it is optional you can create second variable in terms of string but it's not a recommended one so you can go with only one variable so i'm going to create a variable number with a data type integer now i am going to put a statement c out console output please enter a number i'm going to tell the user that please enter a number and the number will be uh, entered by the user i will get that number into the variable which i have created few seconds ago number now i am going to put the conditional structure if the number entered by the user when we divide that number with 2 and it gives us the result 0 so you can see the symbol between the number and the integer 2 so what is that symbol in terms uh, currently it's looking like percentage but it's not kind of percentage it is referred as modulus so when we take the modulus of number uh, by a 2 and if it returns the 0 then we have to put a code block and we have to console output the value that this is an even number this is an even number and if this condition is false if it is not an even number then we can output c out this is an odd number 
so these two are the condition that can be used so now I'm going to press F11 so it is saying that please enter a number I will say that the number will be 5 5 is an odd number next time I will say the number is 6 6 is an even number so we are good to go with these things so that's all from today's video i hope that you guys like the video if you like the video then do subscribe my youtube channel conceptual coding and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel conceptual coding thank you